lovely new section of concrete here on the road from Tabal to Rosario and uh, as you can see freshly laid it's very nice it's only taken them 15 years to actually finish this one segment this road both sides used to predominantly be dirt as did most of the roads in these valleys actually that run between Pulgo and Agoa and uh, They've been rebuilt a couple of times. For some reason, this part was like it was never done. But they finally got around to doing it. And uh, if you'd ridden it, I think, when did I do it? 2012 was the first time I rode it. And uh, yeah, like it was all dirt and it was it was fantastic. This was my Paris-Roubaix. Uh, unfortunately, now that's those days are gone. It would have been the perfect time to own a gravel bike. Uh, gravel bikes didn't actually exist in 2012. It's a, a whole brand new thing. So, it's kind of sad and a little bit ironic that the country that had the very first world championship round of the World Gravel Champs here in the Philippines is the country that's putting down the most concrete, that's getting rid of all of these, these gravel roads. So, I mean, the irony in that, now that gravel bikes are so widely available and widely accepted it's not lost on me for sure for example of you know how bad the concrete is I'm something that's only you know five six years old I'm not like these youtubers that go out and tell you five reasons why you need a gravel bike and you should get a gravel bike it's, it's just arrogance in the extreme quite frankly um, I'm just showing you where I live and uh, because I've been thinking about maybe I should get something that uh, this is a bit more capable than that so if you look at a gravel bike stronger frame disc brakes wider gears wider tire clearance so in that respect a gravel bike makes absolute sense but then if you're looking at vintage bikes well stronger frame wider tire clearance well that's a touring bike I mean that's a uh, that's a cyclocross bike from back in the day I mean track had bikes that looked exactly like that with cantilever brakes on you could run 32 mil tires on, which would be plenty for me. I mean, the problem sort of for me is I, I kind of don't like the look of modern gravel bikes, quite frankly. Though, you know, they look like a road bike with clown shoes. That was uh, three hours, 45 minutes, um, 80 kilometres. It's it's got to be in the high 30 degrees centigrade at the moment. 80 kilometres, probably about 1,500 metres of climbing. And the roads were, so there was the smooth concrete, the broken concrete. There was a, a highway section, the MacArthur Highway, so that meant some high speed riding. And then there was also the climbs. Uh, it was a 9k climb to get home, punchy climbs, some double figures. So you had such a variety of roads and you had such a variety of speeds you had to travel at. Uh, I mean, you really need an all-rounder kind of bike. and. Um, Really, that sounds like a gravel bike to me, doesn't it? Like, even if there's no gravel, uh, the gravel bike just sounds like the all-rounder bike that we used to have in the 1980s, to be honest. I mean, most people here in the Philippines, I've noticed, they're not riding gravel bikes. They're actually riding uh, converted mountain bikes. So they're putting skinny tires on a mountain bike with a rigid fork. Some of them are keeping the flat bars and some are putting drop bars, but I've noticed a lot of them are using uh, a mixture of road and mountain gearing. So essentially they're building a bike for the conditions I've just ridden. Um, so, you know, gravel bikes, are they really just for gravel? I don't think so. I think gravel bikes just, they are fast. They can be if they've got the right tyres on. They can handle any road because of the geometry of them. They don't get washed out in sand or soft conditions. Uh, you don't have to run 2.1 tyres on a gravel bike to enjoy it. Um, you can just run it as a normal road bike because they're just stronger. So what would you do? Would you swap a road bike out for a gravel bike? I mean, why do we have to keep calling them gravel bikes? I mean, they used to be called endurance road bikes, didn't they? Uh, we'll see. Maybe my next bike will be a endurance gravel thing. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll um, see you in the next one. Cheers.